In 2002, Elon Musk founded SpaceX to make more affordable rockets. Its first two rockets were the Falcon 1 and the larger Falcon 9, which were designed to cost much less than competing rockets. A third rocket, the Falcon Heavy, scheduled for launch in 2017, was designed to carry 53,000 kilograms to orbit, nearly twice that of its largest competitor, the Boeing's Delta IV Heavy. SpaceX also developed the Dragon spacecraft, which carries supplies to the International Space Station and is designed to carry as many as seven astronauts. The Tesla Roadster was originally intended to head into orbit around Mars as part of the Falcon Heavy test, which would try out the most powerful rocket on Earth. To fill up the space that would normally be occupied by scientific equipment, Mr. Musk put a car on the rocket. In the original plan, the car and dummy would have gone into orbit between Mars and Earth, slowly passing around the solar system, but the payload overshot that route and is now heading deeper into space. Following the launch of the Falcon Heavy, the electric car and its dummy passenger were placed into orbit around Earth. It's now been announced that Elon Starman has completed its first lap of the sun. It's been over 550 days since its original launch and it's still going strong. Incredibly, there's even a website where you can track where the Roadster is. At the time of recording this video, it's 185,633,898 miles from Earth, and is moving away from the Earth at speeds exceeding 1,644 miles per hour. The car is 67,795,323 miles from Mars. It's been 1 year, 6 months and 15 days since its launch. Elon Musk isn't stopping anytime soon. His company SpaceX has plans to land on the Red Planet. He is currently working with experts and astrophysicists that are in the process of devising new ways to replenish the Martian atmosphere. Not only that, but they also plan to repair the planet's ecosystem, to make it sustainable for human life. They hope to have achieved this by 2030. If this fails, NASA have said they're also looking at putting people on the Red Planet, saying they hope to do this by 2030. It's interesting to think that within many of our lifetimes we'll be seeing humans walking on Mars. So what do you guys make of this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.